welcome back my youtube family i'm your instructor my name is rashid today i will explain a sales dashboard in power bi this dashboard help us see important information about sales in a very easy way let's get started first we have the pie chart on the left side it show us the sales value by region you can see four different regions west east central and south the bigger the slice of the pie, the more sales that region made. West has the largest sales with 34% of the total. This chart help us understand. Next in the middle, there's a line chart showing sales value by year and month. This graph shows how sales changed from January to December. You can see that sales start small in January, but they gradually increase. This graph is helpful to see trends over time. On the right side, there is a box with four options, discount, profit, quantity and sales. These are the categories that we can switch between to view different types of data. Below, we have a bar chart showing sales by category. There are three categories, office supplies, made the most sales with 7.7k furniture and technology each made 2.4k sales next to that we have another bar chart showing sales by subcategory here the items are broken down even further for example binders made the most sales with 2.1k then paper sold 1.7k this give us more detailed information about what specific products were sold there's a bar chart showing sales by state it shows the top states with the highest sales california leads with 2.6k sales new york follows with 1.3k this chart is helpful if you want to see which states are bringing the most sales finally the last chart on the dashboard shows the sales value by city this is similar to the state but focus on the cities for example new york made 1.1k and los angeles made 840 units this lets us dive deeper into which cities are performing well. So now first of all, I'm going to open this blank report. Then I'm going to this file, this save as, and I'm selecting this browse, this device. This is my Power BI dashboard and I'm going to save this. Now next, I'm going to import my data. So I'm going to select this import data from Excel. This is my file. I'm selecting it and I'm going to open. Next, I'm going to select and I'm going to transform data. Next, I'm going to visit my this sales. I'm pressing shift from my keyboard and I'm dragging on the right side and I'm selecting this quantity discount and profit. So basically I have to show my this data in a slicer so that's why I'm selected all of these columns and after selection I'm going to this transform and from here I'm going to select this unpivot columns I'm going to rename this attribute and this is my sales value enter so now this is ready and I'm going to this home and from here I'm going to select this close and apply I have to add a calendar table here, visit my this table view and I'm going to select this new table and here I'm going to select this calendar auto, this is a DAX function, enter, now this will return me the table and now I'm going to add new column here, here I have to add my year is equal to year, in year I will be selecting this date basically i'm selecting this date under this dax now i'm going to close it press enter so it will give me year from this date again i'm selecting this new column and here this is my month this month is a dax function and i have to provide my calendar date parenthesis close enter so it will return me the month from that date so this part is also done now i'm going to this data modeling in this data modeling, I have to connect these both tables. So I'm going to select my this date and I'm going to paste it on my this order date. So basically there is a one to many relationship between this date and this order date. So here you can see this is showing me one to many relationship. Save. Now here you can see this is one. One mean one means in this table I'm having the unique dates and static mean many. So there is a one to many relationship between these two tables. So now I'm going back to my this 
report view and now i'm going to this home under home this is enter data so in this table i'm going to add my all dax calculations so this is my calculated my years and i will load it then i'm going to select these three dots and selecting this new my year so this is my sales value is equal to and i'm going to sum in my order table i have to sum the sales value and i will enter so now if i will be selecting this card from here basically if i will be selecting this sales value and if again i'm going to select this slicer from here and if i will be selecting in order my this type now you can see in my this sales value i'm having this discount profit quantity and sales if i will be selecting this sales now this value belongs to sale this value belongs to quantity this value belongs to profit and this value belongs to discount so now first of all under this build visuals i'm going to select this donut chart after selecting this donut chart i'm going to select my this sales value and i want the segregation of this value on the basis of region i can search region from here so i'm going to select this region so now this is showing me the sales value with the reference to region then first of all i'm going to visit this view under this view and i'm going to select this black one then after selecting my this chart i'm going to visit this build visuals and i'm going to select this format your visual firstly i will be visiting this journal in journal the first thing i'm going to select that is the property in property the height will be 270 and this will be 301 then i'm going to select this position and this position will be 12 and 89 then i will close this property under this property this is my title first of all i'm going to select the alignment of this title to center align and i will make the background color to white and the text color will be black and i will make it bold so this is my sales value by region then i'm going to close my this title now i'm going to visit effect under this effect this is my visual border i'm going to select it then i will make it this white 10% darker now i'm going to copy this chart and i will paste it here so now first of all i'm selecting my this second chart and i will be selecting this line chart after selecting this line chart i will replace this region with my this year and with this month now i will paste this year here on x axis and this month on this x axis now i'm going to visit this format your visual then i'm going to this journal first of all i'm going to visit this property and i will make this 270 and 614 then under this property this is position and i will be selecting 323 into 89 then i'm going to close this property in this visual i'm going to select this line under this line i will be selecting this linear to this step line then i'm going to close this line and i'm going to enable these data labels then under this data label i have to change the background color so this is my background color i'm selecting this one and i will make it white and it transparency to this zero and i'm selecting this value and the color of the values will be this black then i'm going to select this year and i will be pasting it here in this filters now from here i will be selecting this basic filtering and in this basic filtering i will be selecting this 2022 2021 and 2020 now at the end i will be selecting these more options and i'm going to select this sort axis and i want to sort this chart on the basis of year month and the second option from here i will be selecting this sort ascending so now my these sales are sorted with reference to the months and the years so now i have to make a slicer here where i can slice my whole chart my whole dashboard with reference to discount profit quantity and sales i'm going to copy my this chart 
now i'm going to replace this year month and my these sales then i'm selecting my this chart and i will change its type to this slicer new and then i'm going to drag my this type to this field now this is showing me this discount profit quantity and sales now if i will select this discount my this whole dashboard is sized with reference to discount now this is showing me the discount by regions discount by months if i will be selecting this profit now this is showing the profit by region and the profit by month similarly i can slice quantity and my sales now after selecting my this i said i'm going to visit this format your visual under this format your visual this is my layout in my layout i will be selecting this grid and i will making this rows to 2 and columns to 2 as well now i will be visiting this slicer setting and i will for selection for selection means at least one thing will be selected in this slicer so for this we will be using this option of force selection so my this slicer is also ready so now first of all i'm going to copy my this sales value by region and paste it here in this section i'm going to replace my this chart with my this clustered bar chart then i'm going to format your visual and under visual i will be visiting my this data labels i will on these data labels then under data labels i'm going to visit this background and i will make this background to white this white one transparency to zero then i'm selecting the value of the data labels and i will make it black and make it bold then going back build visuals and now i will replace my this region with my categories then again i'm copying pasting it now i will replace my this category with my this sub category then again i am copying pasting it now i will replace my this sub category with my state then again i am copying pasting it and here i will replace my state with my city now if i will be selecting my this office supplies this is not slicing the rest to fix this i will be selecting one of my chart and i'm going to this format under format this is edit interactions then if i'm selecting this chart sales value by region now i will be visiting my rest charts and i will be selecting this filter option this one then i'm selecting my this second chart then selecting this third chart this sub category then this state chart then this last one now if i will be visiting this office supplies now this is slicing my rest then i'm going to this insert option and from here i will be selecting this text box this is my sales dashboard i will making it 24 and making it bold then i'm going to visit this build visuals and under this build visuals i'm going to select my this slicer in my this slicer i'm going to select my this year i'm going to visit this format your visual and under this slicer setting i'm going to select this drop down then i'm going to this format your visual in general effect and in effect this is my visual borders and i will select its color to this 10% white darker then again i'm copying pasting it and in my second slicer i will replace my year with my month in conclusion this dashboard provides a clear snapshot of our sales performance across regions categories and times it's a powerful tool to help us understand data driven decisions and identify opportunities for growth if you found this episode helpful please subscribe to the channel for more content like this thank you so much for your time and i will see you in the next episode of this incredible playlist